Hello, welcome. Welcome again. Hey, um, just a, just a bit of a follow-up on our, on our previous uh, video. This is about putting in um, uh, repeating details as a, as, a, as a component, as a repeating detail component. One thing you'll notice about these uh, CMU bricks and just about any detail component that we put in here, remember it is, it is a CAD feature, it's a 2D CAD feature, and whatever you put in here goes on top of something. It's a 2D representation of our 3D model back here, and what we're doing with these bricks is we're putting them right on top. So you notice that the hatchiness back here disappears, and the hatchiness part of the brick over here and open in here in the middle is uh, put in front of that. One thing about this uh, dimension in here is 6 to 10 inches, which is one of those 8 inch uh, increments. If we take that dimension and stretch it up a little bit, it still does that. We don't have to continue to do that uh, repeating detail. Uh, just to review though, let's um, go back to our annotate, uh, go to a component, and not the repeating component, let's go back to uh, just a regular detail component. And we already have a break line in here, so let's go ahead and put in our break lines and kind of dress this up a little bit. Do so the same thing in the bottom, and probably in the sides. Remember, spacebar allow us to uh, manipulate that, and I'm not certain which side the, the masking is on. So take a guess, looks like we guessed right. Stretch this down, stretch this over, so we don't have to see the bottom. And maybe clean up the sides there too. And we should be good to go pretty soon. We need to stretch this over too a little bit. Maybe even move that if we wanted to kind of fuss about the details like that. Okay, this one's flipped, so spacebar puts it on the bottom. Stretch this over here like that. I think that'll be okay. Let's take our crop. Kind of move that boundary around a little bit. Take this, uh, this one. Actually, let's take this one and move it over so we can hide that last bit of detail on the bottom. Move this one up so it kind of looks like the same on the other side. We're in pretty good shape. We'll take that crop, that boundary, and uh, crop that a little bit. And I think the top's okay. Actually, let's move this over so we can hide that. And I think we're okay. And if we just uh, we put in a, a number of different details in here, maybe talking about the uh, the joints and the kind of uh, brick we're using, and maybe some of the interior wall details because it's going to be on a metal stud. And before we do this, let's make sure we do three thirty seconds of an inch aerial before we start typing. And just for demonstration, we'll put in CMU. Oops. CMU uh, block. Not really good type in here, so I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. There's no L in block. At least not where I put it. It's not a server. You take these annotations, you put them all over, and you de define as many things as you feel is necessary in order for the people who are going to be building your project, in order for them to build that project for you. So that's what you think. Of. That's what you need to think about when you're doing when you're doing details and any sort of drawings you're putting together. And so one last thing. Let's go ahead and take this detail. And this is called call out of section one. Let's go ahead and rename that as we should have already. So we're going to call that detail exterior wall. Good, okay. Let's go down to our detail sheet, which is 401 details. Go back to our detail section, which is in our section section. Go to exterior wall, and we'll put that next to the other one. And that is that is like really big. So what are we doing wrong here? Maybe we have a much larger detail than we do, uh, much taller detail than we did in the other one. So let's go in and uh, activate that view. Let's go ahead and hide that boundary for one thing, so it looks a little bit different. Uh, deactivate the view. Let's go in here and make sure our, our scale is the same. So it's one inch is equal to one foot. That two is one inch is equal to one foot. There's probably more wall than we need, but it is the same scale, so it looks like it'll work. And maybe move these around, we'll be able to put a lot more details in on our sheets as time comes. And just for one last bit of demonstration, we go back to our section one. Now that's detail two on sheet 401, that's detail one on sheet 401. So there you have it. Well, we will see you again.